In this demo, you will learn how to add non-electrical layers in the stackup to enable the constraint assignment in the design section of the constraint manager. To run the DFM checks on layers such as silk screen, solder mask and paste mask, you must have these layers defined in the stackup often called non-electrical layers. The reference DFF constraint set will be disabled in the constraint manager if the non-electrical layers are not defined in the constraint manager. So defining the non-electrical layers is a prerequisite for running any non-electrical check. Alternatively, you can run the non-electrical check using the not in stackup option, which will be discussed in a separate demo. Defining non-electrical layers in the cross-section editor. Go to Setup, select the cross-section from the menu bar, or select the cross-section icon to open the cross-section editor. Adding a solder mask layer on top of the top electric layer. Select the top layer, right-click, and select Add Layers. The Add Layers form will open. Select the above conductor top option present in the section New Layers position. In the Layer Type section, navigate to Mask, Design defined mask layers, top, and select solder mask top. Let the layer function be solder mask and the layer material be polyemide. Select the add button to add the solder mask underscore top in the cross section. Adding a silk screen layer on top of the solder mask layer. Select the solder mask underscore top. The new layer position gets changed to above mask solder mask underscore top. Select the silk screen top layer in the Design Defined Mask Layers section, and the layer function will be updated automatically. Select the Add button to add the silk screen layer to the top of solder mask underscore top. Adding a paste mask layer on top of the silk screen layer. Select the silk screen underscore top layer created in the cross section. Select the paste mask top layer in the Design Defined Mask Layer section, and choose the Add button. The solder mask, silk screen, and paste mask layers are added at the top. Similarly, you can add the non-electric layers at the bottom, adding a solder mask layer below the bottom layer. Now, in the cross-section editor, select the bottom layer, set the new layer position below the conductor bottom, expand the bottom layer in the design-defined mask layers, select the solder mask bottom. The layer function gets updated automatically. Let the layer material be as it is. Select the Add button to add the solder mask underscore bottom, adding a silk screen layer below the solder mask layer. Select the newly created solder mask underscore bottom. Select the silk screen underscore bottom from the design defined mask layers and choose the Add button, adding a paste mask layer below the silk screen layer. Then select the newly created silk screen underscore bottom. Choose the paste mask layer and select the add button to add the paste mask bottom layer. After adding the required layers, choose exit to close the form. Then select apply and click OK to close the cross section editor. Open the constraint manager. After adding the required non electrical layers to the cross section, navigate to the manufacturing design for fabrication folder design section. Select the mask worksheet. If you observe the reference DFF CSET section, it can assign the constraints created in the DFF constraint set. After this, you can run the non-electric DFM checks in the design file. This concludes the demo that shows adding non-electric layers to the stackup, which enables the assignment of the DFF constraint set in the design section.